Command.
Hello, good evening, my friends. Welcome to another English class. We're going to start the class number 17. And we are advancing a lot in, well, in the model that we have after this class. We're going to have just three more classes, so sort of three classes mass. And we're going to finish this model, okay? So that's it. Um, let's see if we can advance with this. Um, let's see who do we have here. I hope the other can connect. Let's wait a little bit. Vamos a esperar un poco mientras se conectan los demás. Hola, hola. ¿Cómo cuánto tiempo promedio se tardan para volver a ingresar los datos al quinto módulo? Pues, um, fíjate que normalmente son dos o tres semanas de diferencia de cada módulo. Entonces, eso quiere decir que como normalmente... Eh, antes de, de, de que finalice el módulo, en esa semana eh, se piden, se solicitan las cartas, ¿verdad? Se solicita todo lo, lo, la documentación. Posiblemente. De hecho, disculpe, teacher, disculpe. De, ¿Sí? hecho, de hecho, ya le tendrían que haber llamado para validar si va a seguir participando en el siguiente módulo. Sí, sí, así es. A nosotros nos, este, nos asignan módulos eh, diferentes. A veces nos dan continuidad, a veces no, ¿verdad? Pero en el caso de ustedes, sí, ya sería esta semana. De hecho, de cuando se termina el módulo, creo que dan un par de días más. Pero normalmente, antes que termine el módulo, ustedes ya deben de, de enviar toda la documentación. Así, cuando ya termina y todo, se hace la asignación, ¿verdad? De grupo, que es donde, donde estarían sí. ustedes. De eh, hecho, a mí me llamaron ahora y me dijeron que mañana, hasta mañana, teníamos para la inscripción, al menos de este grupo. Okay, sí, al menos de este grupo, sí, porque acuérdense que cada, son fechas diferentes, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces, sí, les han dicho que hasta mañana, entonces sí, de, de, deben de enviar la, la documentación. Eh, para la dicho, ¿sí? sí, de hecho, a mí, a mí la semana pasada me mandaron al correo para que ahí se haga la inscripción. Uh -huh. Okay, para, el, okay. para el siguiente módulo y si sí, mañana el, el fecha límite bueno entonces sí eh, la sugerencia sería eso pues que, uh, que avancen todo lo que puedan verdad enviando la documentación para que no tengan dificultades okay. en sí porque sí trabajan con bastante anticipación para la asignación de módulos porque igual verdad es un proceso un poquito extenso Así que sí, pues me alegra que, que ustedes ya, ya estén entonces en, en esas vueltas. Ok. Daniel, eh, tú ya, ya enviaste igual la documentación. Sí, es que le preguntaba porque resulta que este módulo, eh, la muchacha coordinadora de recursos humanos costó que le mandara los datos. Y me costó comunicarme con ella y pues resulta que me tardé casi un mes en, esperando que me llamaran y según yo era, era que estaban eh, recolectando personal para, para, el, para el curso pues, pero resulta que ella no había mandado mis datos sí. entonces casi me atrasé casi un mes y medio ah, y que por no eso le preguntaba cuál... para tener una idea más o menos de cuánto se tarda para así si ella no manda los datos yo estar al pendiente de decirle que los haga pues, según he notado, sí, es una semana que tú envías. Y, ¿verdad, John? Creo que a la semana o a, o a, lo, ¿sí? o a los 10, 15 días, creo que máximo. Es que una, es que una sola vez eh, le envían el correo a, a la persona y al el encargado de recursos humanos comienza el proceso de la recolección de información, lo ¿no? que más o uh -huh. menos te dan una semana y media, más o menos eso uh -huh. es. 
si después que termine el módulo no te llaman en la primera semana, te quedaste afuera. A mí lo mismo me sucedió uh -huh. como a ti, Daniel. Vas uh -huh. esperando uh -huh. casi un mes y medio. Sí, y... Pero, son, son, son cuestiones que no son, que están fuera no, de no. sus manos, ¿verdad? Pero sí, a veces Correcto. pueden cerciorarse monitorear o presionar el, el que el encargado de recursos humanos o del área correspondiente envíe la información de ustedes porque ustedes no la pueden enviar sino que la envían ya correcto. del área de recursos humanos es correcto, correcto, sí, por eso lo preguntaba para tener una, una idea más o menos de cuánto es el tiempo y así estar presionando ya uh -huh. mañana deberías de estar inscrito, de lo contrario creo que te va a tocar esperar un mes para volverte a escribir en otro grupo ah, ok no, no, bueno. te, no se ha comunicado contigo Daniel eh, yo le, le llamé, pero no me contestaba, entonces le mandamos correo para que... Para que... No, los, de, los de inglés corporativo tendrían que haberte llamado ah, hoy. Sí. Ellos sí, ellos nos mandaron correo. Y si, me, siempre me copian a mí y le copian a, a la muchacha de, ah. de recursos. Okay. Pero en mi caso, este, yo le llamo a la de recursos para recordarlo porque a veces se le, envía, se le olvida mandar. Claro, claro, es posible que se le olvide. Así que qué bueno que ah. estés pendiente ahí. Sí, hay que hacerlo, hay que estar monitoreando y hasta cierto punto de presión para que puedan enviar eh, sí. la documentación. Ok. okay. Excelente. Bueno, ya sabes, Susi, vas a comentar algo, creo, pero vas manejando. Así que igual te esperamos. No, solo comentarle eso al compañero que a mí siempre me envían con copia el correo que le envían a la persona de recursos humanos. Uh -huh. Entonces ya ella solo me pregunta, ¿siempre van a seguir las tres? Y ya este, yo le confirmo y, y ella nos matricula. Pero lo hace, por ejemplo, nosotros desde hace como una semana y media me confirmó que ya estábamos matriculadas. Ok, cuando dice el... las tres, ¿te, ¿te refieres a quién más? Ah, es que estamos con Adi Reyes y Ana Cristina Hernández. Mm, ya, comprendo. Ajá. Entonces ahorita ella, por ejemplo, y como le digo, ya es como una semana o varios días pasaditos, nos confirmó que estaba matriculadas nuevamente en el siguiente curso pero a mí me envía una copia de ahí de ingreso corporativo de que ya le solicitaron a la persona de recursos humanos la documentación uh -huh. un correo copiado mm, bueno, comprendo bueno, espero que todo salga bien entonces ¿verdad? con el tema de, de sus inscripciones solo que con Ana Cristina creo que nunca he hablado eso sí no sé cómo, cómo ha estado ella, porque ajá, ella no ha participado. Uh -huh. Ajá, nunca me ha dicho presente ni nada, solo. Ajá, entonces creo que ella, no sé si trabaja de noche. No trabaja de noche, pero no sé por qué no se ha conectado. Ella es, por lo general, muy participativa. Los compañeros no me dejarán mentir, pero en este módulo la hemos perdido un poco. Mm, bueno, no, era una consulta nada más, porque sí, este, siempre se conecta, pero igual está como listener, pero bueno este, me alegra que ya, ya haya enviado la documentación, verdad que hayan estado pues ahí pendientes y recuerden que solo les quedaría dos este, niveles más para ascender al, al nivel intermedio verdad, porque cada, este, cada nivel tiene seis módulos, verdad basic, intermediate, and advanced entonces estamos en el cuarto pasaría en el quinto, después solo le faltaría uno más y ya pasa a nivel intermedio ¿Verdad que sería prácticamente el 30 y qué? La tercera parte de, 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 del programa. Entonces es bastante bueno porque lo que realmente cuesta es iniciar y mantenerse. Ya que ahora están, pues, espero que siga. Ok, my friends. Welcome in class number 17, clase número 17. How to use... So and such. Ayer estuvimos eh, viendo parte de eso, ¿verdad? How to use uh, these words. Tenemos más ejercicios para ahora. I'm going to check the attendance list. So for this, here I have this. Uh, ways to say you're welcome. No sé si ya les había mostrado esa imagen. Creo que no. Pero si, si ya se las había mostrado, ustedes me comentan, ¿ok? Ways to say you're welcome, por más de decir de nada, cuando alguien le dice gracias, nosotros decimos de nada, ¿verdad? No te preocupes. Tenemos diferentes eh, frases. Tenemos short, no worries, you got it, no problem, anytime, I'm happy to help, it's my pleasure, not at all, don't mention it. 
y en este caso quiero hacer, I want to make some emphasis in some phrases because um, in this case, sería you got it. Pueden decir got it, pero cuando hay una T entre dos vocales normalmente se pronuncia como R, got it. Ok, here we have also. Not at all. Esa es la pronunciación. Not at all. Ok. Y el resto creo que ya la conocen, ¿verdad? Sure, no worries. You got it. No problem. Anytime. Pronunciando la M. Ok. Anytime. I'm happy to help. It's my pleasure. Not at all. Don't mention it. Ok. I'm going to check. Please, you tell me if you are there. Muy bien, vamos con... Bien, Adi creo que no se ha conectado ahora. Oh, bueno, creo que sí está de oyente. Ok. Aquí we have also, well, Ana Cristina. Uh, Carlos Elías. Elías not. Rivas, I don't know. Ah, Elías está de oyente. I don't know if Rivas... Not by the moment. Okay, Claudia Marcela, I don't know. Daniel? No worry. Thank you. Mm, David, do we have David here? Mm. Okay, Alejandra, Doris Alejandra. Good evening. Hello. Time. Mm, okay, Evelyn? Evelyn, Karina, hello. Well, no está. Mm, Graciela. Mm, Guillermo, I don't know if Guillermo is here. Not by the moment. Um, Jose Andrés, no. John, hello. Uh, good evening, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Um, I am here. I choose. Um, you got it. Thank you. Okay, Katia. I don't know if Katia is here. Um, Maritza. Present. Thank mm, you. No worry. Mm -hmm. Okay, Marvin, no, right? Noe, yes, right? Noe is here. Yeah, present, teacher. It's Thank my you. pleasure. Perfect. Okay, we go with <clears throat> Gustavo. All right. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. No, no problem. Good. Okay, Oscar. No. Not by the moment. Rosalie. Mm, Susie is driving. Teresa, sure. thank you. Okay, Teresa, not here. Okay. So let's move. Let's see what do we have here. Okay, we're going to have this. So versus um, touch, we have some similarities. As you can see, there are um, like forms to, to, to say that we can make mistakes, podemos hasta equivocarnos. So, Look at this. El so va con un adjective, va con adverse, judgmental uh, adjective, or con so much, so many, so few, so little, y así sucesivamente. En cambio, el such va con a o con an, ese artículo, ¿verdad? Eso es lo que lo puede diferenciar, porque el significado es pues, un tanto similar, ¿ok? 
So, now that we have this, ahora que tenemos esto, ya tenemos pues un poquito más claro, vamos a hacer un pequeño ejercicio. Ok. Aquí podemos escribir so much or so many. Intentemos hacerlo, ok. Siempre va el so y el such. Solo que en, en este caso podría ser such a, such an, ¿verdad? So much. Así que I'm going to give, well, I'm going to give you a couple of seconds. Le doy un par de segundos para que vean. Y luego todos vamos a participar. We have eight sentences. Tenemos ocho oraciones. Okay, let's listen to some of you. Remember that here we have two options, just two options. And we can have like, a, yeah, that's kind of easy. Okay, Noah is the first. He wants to start. You tell me the number, my friend. Okay, the number one, I've been married so many times. Yeah, that's correct. So many. Mm -hmm. So many times, okay. Let's listen to John, then Maritza. And number two, he got really drunk at the party last night and the habit like, and let me see, such. Okay. Such, such. Okay, pero such, normalmente, ¿qué más lleva? El, an. An, en este caso, an. Principalmente porque el... El adjetivo yeah. idiot lleva, comienza con vocal, entonces an, si no, si fuera una cosa no sería a, behave, se comportó. Imagine, he was a person drinking a lot of alcohol, he uh, got drunk, and he behaved like an idiot. Well, unfortunately. Maritza and then Daniel. Number three. They Number used three. to have so much yeah fun to fun together mm -hmm. now now all day do it argue uh -huh. argue yeah thank you okay uh, daniel and then we go with gustavo okay daniel oh sorry uh, okay i can believe you like there for so many years. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, we go with Gustavo and after Gustavo, we go with Alejandra. Okay, Gustavo. Okay, teacher. Uh, that is uh, so good. Uh, okay. Idea. Okay. Se puede usar las dos. That is a good idea. Pero en este caso podría ser such a good. Aunque con so good idea no se escucha tan mal. Pero. Uh -huh. Creo que también podría ser posible. Thank you. Alejandra, are you there? Yes. Please. 
And the number five. Number five. The guitar player was so so ah. mm, so. Okay. Mm -hmm. So good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, uh, Evelyn, are you there? Okay. I don't know, Evelyn. No sé si Evelyn no puede escucharnos porque a veces yo le consulto. Quizás a veces hay problemas con el internet. Creo que su internet es un poco lento. No, no quiere participar. Okay. Después le pregunto. Maybe we can have uh, Rosalía. I don't know if you are there. Okay. If not, we're going to continue with maybe Maritza can help us with number four or number six. Number six. Mm-hmm. So many students have a problem yeah. with, this, with this exercise. Exercise, yeah, that's it, thank you. Okay, Daniel, can you help me with number four? Let's try. The bar. The bar was really packed last night. There were so, so, so much people there. Casi. Many, porque podemos contar a las personas. Much podría ser, pero oh. lo que no se puede contar. But thank you. Okay, my friends, these are the answers for the exercise. So, and, and so many, so much, or such. Ah, we're going to continue in a moment because here we have like speaking activity. So, I'm sorry, no. This was from yesterday. Okay, let's go with this. Do you think it is okay to date or marry someone 10 or more years older or younger? ¿Crees o piensas que está bien salir con alguien? Date es como salir, ¿verdad? En plan romántico con alguien. 10 or more years older or younger. Maybe we can have some. I know you are experts in this topic. I know. So I want to listen to your opinions. What's your point of view? Noe is the first one that is going to give his opinion. Okay, yeah. my friend. Yeah, I think it's, it's, it's not important, I think, because if you feel love for, for that people, for that person, Sorry, the age is not the most important. No. Okay. So the most important are the feelings. Mm -hmm. Very nice. So you can date some, you can date a person who is 10 years older or younger, but maybe through the time is passing by with the, the, the times that you go out, you notice if that person is for you or not, right? So that's the point of knowing. Okay, what it matters, the important is the the feelings, right? Okay. Yeah. You, right. Thank you. Okay, maybe we can have some other opinion. John, what's your opinion about this? Okay, let me see. Um, for me, and um, I think that. Um, Everything is fine. And when I am a mature and respectful person. Okay. Everything is fine if uh, you have like a mature and respectful. Mm -hmm. It's like the most important aspects, right? For a relationship to, well, to work. So yeah, could it be. Thank you, uh, John. We're going to listen this time well, I I like to hear Alejandra. That is Alejandra. What's your opinion about this? Okay. 
I think is not bad. Mm -hmm. In my case, and I will not, <laughs> but I know hopeless and the 10 or 15 years older and here are stable. Okay. Um, I agree. <laughs> okay, nice. So the, those couples are okay. You, by experience, you have seen, right? You see yes. that those couples are okay. And imagine what, how, how, how much, how many years? 15 years from difference. Yes. Okay, yeah, good 10 example. Or 15. 10 or 15. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, that, that's a good example. It's not the majority of people, right? It's not the majority, but there are couples and they are okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Alejandra said, I would not. Okay, so Alejandra no. <laughs> wouldn't. Okay. Yeah, we are saying uh, the egg with. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, very, very, very good point. Thank you. Okay, uh, let's listen now. Thank you, uh, Alejandra. Maybe we can have the opinion, this case of um, Daniel and then Maritza. Okay, in my case, uh, it is some, it's something that I see very normal. Uh, how that sound says? Say, uh, 40, 20. Yeah, like the it, song, Jose see, Jose. <laughs> it is normal. Okay, normal. Okay, for you, it's like a, not, not a problem, right? Uh, depends no on, problem. on the, okay, depends on the personality, depends on different aspects, as some other participants were saying, okay? Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Let's listen to Maritza. What's your opinion, Maritza? Uh, it's not bad, but I would not like it. I okay. think five years, it's okay. Okay, nice. Good point. Because you are establishing like a, a parameter. It's a parameter. Yes. Yeah, it's like yeah, 10 years. Uh, Maritza says it's not bad, but in my opinion, five years could it be more acceptable, right? Because sometimes yeah. 10 years, it is like they have different experiences and one person is going to be more mature normally, more mature than the other. So that can affect uh, in some way to the relationships. Okay, so that's it. Thank you, Maritza. Uh, good point of view. Okay, we're going to continue with this uh, question later. First, uh, we're going to have this. Look. Here we have a conversation. And in this conversation, we're going to, let me check, I'm going to give you some time just for you to, to see. Okay. Here we have uh, Hugo and Milton. It says, the sales were not so good this month. Therefore, increasing our sales is our target this month. Do you have any idea about what to do? Sure. First, analyzing and keeping track of the incomes and outcomes have to be mandatory on each sale. That's a good idea. Also, I'm interested in buying raw materials so we save more money. However, I prefer getting a bank loan for that, but I know that we can pay it with the incomes we get. I'm concerned about asking for money, but let's try it. Let's try it out. Bien, entonces tenemos aquí algunas palabras. Maybe I consider that these words are very important. Maybe some of you know them. So in this case, it says the target. I'm sorry, this is not working well. Okay, target is como objetivo. Okay. 
there before. Before. Mm -hmm. Uh yeah, there. Before. Sorry, this is not working. Okay, therefore, por lo tanto. Very important. Este también se pueden utilizar como un so. So es como les decía, entonces, por lo tanto, así que, but therefore is more formal, es más formales. Okay? Therefore, I'm going to underline it well because I guess it's like it is difficult to see. Okay. Therefore, increasing our sales, a good idea what to do. Sure. First, analyzing, keeping track. Ya sabemos que analyzing y analizar, keeping track, darle seguimiento, monitorear, keeping track on the incomes and outcomes. Okay, incomes son los ingresos and outcomes, salidas. Have to be mandatory. Es, eso sí, pueden anotarlo si gustan. Cuando decimos que algo es mandatory, es, it's an obligation. It's something that you have to do. Yes or no. Yes or yes. Okay. And it's a good idea. Okay, this word is kind of difficult. Remember, interested. Three syllables. Interested. Interested. There's another word that is similar. This is interesting. Listen to the difference. The first one, interested, and the other interesting okay that, that that's a big difference okay well and here we have raw materials buying raw materials comprar materiales eh, materiales pues como para construir para para elaborar cosas so we have save ahorrar more money however that's another one raw materials is materia prim Okay, however, sin embargo, I prefer getting a bank loan, que significa préstamo, for that, but I know that we can pay it with the incomes we get. I'm concerned, estoy preocupado, okay? I'm concerned about asking for money, but let's try it out, okay? I repeat, therefore, target incomes and outcomes, mandatory interested however loan concern okay i need you to have a screenshot please with this screenshot um we're going to have like a, a better base for practicing Okay, so let's see what do we have. We're going to do uh, two exercises. Okay, maybe Maritza can help us or John, I don't remember who was the person helping. Thank you, thank you Maritza. Okay, and after practicing this, thank you. After practicing this, después de eso, I need you to complete this in the same speaking activity, okay? So here we have so, such, such, a, such, and so much, so many. Let's try it. I'm going to ask you two times, everyone. A todos les voy a preguntar dos de estas, okay? Porque muchos que están como oyentes, entonces, intentemos hacerlos. Let's work in, in pairs. Vamos a trabajar en equipos. Eh, voy a dejar, voy a formar en este momento los equipos, please. So I needed to, yes. Um, yes? I can practice right now, I'm driving. Okay, no problem. Um, thank you for telling me, gracias por comentar. Okay, okay, thank you. Yeah, relax. You tell me when you get home. If you can get home, please let me know, okay? Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's practice a little bit. Cuando puedas, le das una revisada a esas, a las oraciones. Yes, of course. Okay, thank you. Okay. Let's listen here. I'm going to... Oh, 
Okay, so. See you in a moment.
Okay, my friends, welcome back. I know that you have some work on the worksheet and also with this um, conversation, but let's practice. Daniel, who was your classmate? Maritza. Maritza, okay, could you help us please? And uh, I don't know who starts with the conversation. Okay. Uh, Daniel. Okay. So good this month. Therefore, increasing our is this. Hola. Do you have an, any idea about what to do? Sure. First, analyzing and keeping track on the income. On income uh, and outcomes, how to be monetary and his soul. That's a good idea. Also, I'm interested in bullying raw materials so we save more money. However, I prefer getting a bank loan for that, but I know that we can pay it by the income we get. I'm concerned about asking for money, but let's try it out. Okay, very good, thank you. So um, in this case, uh, here we have like this conversation, very well done. And here we have this uh, exercise that is kind of long. Uh, here we're going to use uh, so, touch, such a, such an, so much, so many. Eh, no se sientan como que hay bastantes eh, opciones, porque si se dan cuenta, si tenemos such a y such an, es casi igual, pues, porque solo le, la a o la an es de di la diferencia, ¿verdad? So much, so many, ¿ok? So, uh, in this case... Uh, let's see what do we have here. We're going to start. I don't know who wants to start with this um, worksheet. A ver quién inicia con esta. Con esos ejercicios. You can start with some, with the easiest, con los más fáciles. Okay. Maybe we can start in this case with Alejandra. Do you have any idea? Okay. If not, uh, we can have also in this case. Okay, let's see. Okay, Noe. Okay, I want to try the number one. Please. Jessica is so brilliant woman that everyone admire here. Yeah. So fluent, very good. Buena fluidez. Thank you. Okay, we continue with some others. Maybe we can have um, John, are you there? Yes, uh, 12. Okay. Okay, let's try. Uh, the constant stand didn't think they good had to face so difficulty. <laughs> okay, good. It can be so much. So, so much, much, yeah, difficulty, porque no se puede contar. <clears throat> ok, porque difficult es el, el, ¿cómo se llama? El adjetivo, adjetivo. Pero difficulty. Mm -hmm. Ok, but thank you. Good, good done. Uh, Daniel, and then we go with Rosalie. The number 13, mm -hmm. sorry. Sí. Dos, trece, es ese. Thirteen, trece. Mm -hmm. Wow, you Okay. Wow, well, you are so much. Okay. Aquí sería, ajá. Uh -huh. So, uh -huh. intelligent. Thank you. Rosalie and then Maritza. Uh -huh. 
Um, number 11. Um, they had never seen so many. Mm -hmm. Many people. So many people at the beach. Thank you. Okay, Maritza, and after Maritza, we can go with Susie. Number three. Mm -hmm. She is so shy that she would only talk to her parents. Yes, thank you. Okay, Susie, are you there? And then Gustavo. Okay, maybe Susie is not available. We can have Gustavo. What about you? Okay, teacher. Let's try. Uh, number seven. They were so close to winning that every jump fed this, this, this is this mm -hmm. appointment with the loss. With the loss, okay, thank you. Yeah, that's it. Maybe we're going to go another round. Vamos con otra. The ronda, Noe, please, could you help me? And then we go with John. Okay, I think the number 10. Mm -hmm. You're into the much heavy ride that he covered. How did you see the group? Mm -hmm. Yes, so much heavy. Thank you. Okay, John, and then we go, Rosalie. Okay, let me see. Um, number four, the teacher mm -hmm. was uh, so tired that she had to dismiss the class. Thank you, that's correct. Okay, uh, Rosalie and Daniel. And number nine, mm -hmm. it was so lovely. Okay. They, that they decide to go swimming. Excellent. Pero en este caso podría ser such a. Mm -hmm. Okay. It was such a lovely day. Such a lovely day that she that they decided. Thank you. Okay. And here we have uh, Maritza, right? And then we go with Gustavo. Number six. Mm -hmm. I have so much great memories with her that I will never forget for get her. Okay. Yeah, so much memories. Mm -hmm. Because you can count. Thank you. And we go now with, let's see. Gustavo, please. Okay, teacher. Um... Number A, mm -hmm. I grant you both and so, so much good sign and the picnic. Okay, podría ser también such a good time. Mm -hmm. Se parecen, si se dan cuenta, son bien curiosas. Okay, and we're going to advance. Number two, they met. Okay, um, here we have. Number two, number five, and number 14. It was, okay. I don't know if you have some options. If not, I'm going to do it. Let's do 14. It was so hot that we had to open. Mm -hmm. Five, those, show, those shoes are so expensive. Mm -hmm. They made... Such a unforgivable. Okay, thank you, my friends. Let's continue because the class is passing by. So in this case, uh, we continue with this. Okay. Do you think it is okay to date or marry someone 10 or more years older? Maybe we can have the participation in this case of Rosalie. What's your opinion? And then Gustavo. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Um, I think it depends. Mm -hmm. um, on 
don't have all you need that person because I have the example of my parents. My dad is 15 years older than the... Your mother. Than, uh, the mother. Mm, but when they met, it was their second marriage. Ah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It, it is like a different story. But yes, it's like an example how que this can work. Como puede funcionar. Okay. So thank you because you have the experience of your parents. Good point. And Gustavo, please. Okay, teacher. In my opinion, there is no problem. For love, there is no, no age. Mm -hmm. There's no age, right? For love. Age. So you okay. don't find any problem with this. Okay, thank you. I would like to listen to Susie, maybe. I don't know if Susie is already now. Well, I guess she is driving, but okay. Let's move. Uh, so, because here we have more things to do. In this case, here we have this. Look. Yes, Noe, tell me. No, mm. just, just another anecdote. Okay, please go. We want to listen. Um, I know a couple who have 20 years of difference. Difference? And yeah, 20 years of difference. It's a lot. And, and everything in their relationship is really, really good. So it's okay. not important. Yeah, it's like another proof that it can be done. It can yeah. work, yes. So... Uh, I know, yeah, some other uh, couples that they have like a big difference, like 14 years. And it's like maybe you in a point, in a certain point of your life, you can say, no, I, I never could be in that situation. But it depends on the person, depends on the connection, the ideas you have. Yeah, it can work. Okay, how to use gerunds? Vamos a trabajar con los gerundios. This uh, something that I guess Noé was asking me like a couple yeah. of days ago. Yes. Very interesting topic. Gerunds are verbs that act like subject or after some verbs or after prepositions. Basically, there they are verbs with ing. Son verbos con ing y que pueden actuar como sujetos o también pueden eh, ir después de algunos verbos como parece acá o después de preposiciones. Let's listen this the first part. Maritza, could you read this part, please? As subjects. As subjects in the present increasing or sales is mandatory. Mm -hmm. Producing high Quality goods is our target. Thank you. So increasing, no están hablando de eh, incrementar como verbo, son, sino que el incremento de nuestras ventas es obligatorio. Producing high quality, ¿verdad? La producción. Teacher, ¿por qué no se dice production? Mm, porque aquí se le está dando más énfasis. Producing high quality goods is our target. Thank you, Maritza. Okay, let's listen to Rosalie. After some verbs. I think that I prefer getting a bad loan. Mm -hmm. I dislike firing employees due to low incomes. Incomes. Um, firing. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, good point. Uh, I prefer getting. Yo prefiero, ¿verdad? Obtener un bank, un préstamo bancario o... No me gusta despedir a los empleados, ¿ok? Entonces, en este caso, en lugar de decir, I prefer to get, se dice, I prefer get it. I dislike firing. Ya le voy a dar una lista. I'm going to give you a list of verbs donde se utiliza ING, como con gerundios, ¿ok? Porque usted me puede decir, teacher, but how can we know what verbs are the ones that we're going to use with gerunds? I'm going to tell you later. Ya se lo voy a comentar. Noé, please, could you read this after prepositions? Okay. I'm interested in buying a rap material. Mm -hmm. I'm concerned about asking for money. Thank you. So, in buying raw material, 
about asking. Entonces se dan cuenta, ¿verdad? Que aquí tenemos eh, después de sujetos, after subject, after verb, after preposition. ¿okay? A, a subject, esto va al inicio. After some verb, viene aquí está el verbo. Sir. ¿okay? It's like. Y tenemos in, about. Okay. So, complete the conversation with the general forms of the verbs, the incorporate partner. I guess this, this is going to be very easy. Va a ser fácil porque nosotros solo debemos de agregarle ing. In. Okay. And let's see here. Okay, take a look at this. Vamos a ver si podemos. No, I'm going to erase. Voy a borrar esto para que se pueda ver bien. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm. Okay, here we go. Ask, give, pay, have, provide, get, hire, sell. Ask is preguntar, pedir, give. Ya sabemos, pay, have, provide, proveer, get, obtener, hire. Es contratar. Sell, vender. I'm going to give a couple of seconds. I'm doing a couple of seconds para que piensen. ¿Cuál podría ir? Ok, let's try. Vamos a ver con qué comenzamos acá. Ok. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Ok. Uno para cada uno. Volunteers, let's try. Recuerden que todos van a ir con ING. Please, Noé, tell me which one. I think number two could be, are you interested in getting new ideas for products? Ok. Let's try. Vamos a intentar. Okay, getting new ideas for products, okay? Yes. Only that one solo esa, by the moment. Yes, I am. Do you have? I love mm, providing some. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Maritza, what about you? Thank you, Noah. Mm -hmm. Uh, number one, mm -hmm. do we start paying to Christmas week off? Okay, let's try. And you have the other one? Yes. Mm -hmm. And what about the other? I prefer you have it. Okay, maybe I not. Don't not no, no. Okay, okay. Let's wait. Entonces vamos a esperar. Uh, Daniel, do you have yours? What? Whatever, depende. Cual, cualquiera, three or four. Uh... Are you worried about 
Eh, getting. Getting, ok. Vamos a ver. Vamos a intentar, ok. Ok, do you have the other? Not really. I'm not concerned about. Give. The Give new product to pay the employees. Let's try. Ok. Rosalie or John? Um, number three, I believe, is paying salaries to employees each month is our priority. Priority. Bien rara esa palabra. Mm. Priority. Mm -hmm. Y por decir de priority, ni puse paying. Yeah. Paying. Uh -huh. Do you have the other? Mm -hmm. I... Sites, mm. mm, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to hear. Number three, number B. Number three, number B. <clears throat> Para ayudarle a Rosalie con la número tres. <laughs> Adelante, please. Um, I to totally agree with that. Besides, uh, Hiring sería, creo, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Hiring. Mm -hmm. Hiring. New workers has, has to, to be, to be another, another one. That's talking about priorities. Hablando de eh, prioridades, ¿ok? So, mm -hmm. here we have, I guess here could it be asking. I prefer asking, ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you, John. Secret. Ok. But here we have, uh, there is uh, what getting like here, but are you having okay? Are you worried about yes? Here we have, yeah, maybe could it be like this? Are you interested in having new ideas for products, or are you worried about having the bank? For the long could it be having here number four okay let's move ya nos está agarrando la tardecita look in this case um i'm sorry this is getting kind of crazy Okay, I'm going to give you this. And I I suggest you to have screenshot. Les sugiero que tengo una captura de pantalla y de alguna revisada a esto, please.
So let's uh, make some sentences about this. And uh, here we have this one. And this is the name of one song. Este, este listado es, es bastante útil. Créanme. There's one song that is like this. I can help. This is one. So this is a song from Elvis Presley, and there is a song that is played by UB40. I can't help falling in love with you. In help es un verbo compuesto que significa no puedo evitar o no poder evitar. Entonces aquí dice no puedo evitar enamorarme de ti. Falling in love ya es el verbo falling. Fall. Okay. Another. I can't help crying with romantic movies. This is obviously an example, right? No puedo evitar llorar con eh, películas románticas, okay? So I need you to make some sentences uh, using uh, finish, uh, defend, enjoy, love. Puede ser, ¿verdad? El otro. I love running in the park. Okay? You can say it by using I, utilizando I, okay? So I recommend you to make some sentences and text it here okay in the chat please like this one i love running in the park i like puede ser i like y ponen un verbo cualquier verbo un hábito it can be a habit a hobbit a pastime activity okay so remember you can use gerunds pueden utilizar gerundio verbos con ing como sustantivos, después de esos verbos. Okay, I'm going to wait for your sentence. Okay, let's uh, check this. Remember, the key is like this. Esa es la clave, miren. 
when we have gerunds, cuando tenemos los gerundios, it is but very, very important like this. Um, pueden utilizar los gerundios así, ¿verdad? Reading is relaxing. Uh -huh. Still, uh, she considered quitting a my mother spent her life teaching los gerundios, gerunds, pueden ser utilizados este, como sujeto, como objeto directo o como objeto indirecto. ¿Cuál es el punto? They can be at the beginning of the sentence, in the middle of the sentence, or at the end. But this, uh, as I told you before, este es nada más. This is one example como los verbos después de este, después de estos verbos, pueden ir un gerundio. Por ejemplo, vamos con la palabra avoid. Esta avoid significa evitar. Por ejemplo, I avoid smoking in public. ¿Qué estoy diciendo? Yo evito fumar. Aquí está el gerund. Aquí está el gerund. Después de este verbo, ¿ok? Así que eh, vamos a ver acá. Tenemos. Ok, Noé dice, I appreciate that you put attention in class. Ok, in this case, tenemos appreciate. Vaya, sería I appreciate paying attention. Sería ahí, quizás ahí, Noé. Porque estos verbos, es como que después de esos verbos, va un, un verbo con ING, que sería un gerundio. Sería, I appreciate paying attention to the class. Daniel dice, still loving you, it's a song from Scorpions. Creo que es una canción de Scorpions. ¿Funciona el gerund aquí? No como lo estoy explicando, pero sí funciona. Loving you. Um, Noé, I trying to do... Uh, homework very fast. Aquí sí podría ser. Yes. Uh, John dice, she's walking too much these days. These days. Aquí ya no sería un gerund, John. Porque aquí está eh, utilizando el present continuous. O sea, el gerund no tiene que, no debe tener ing, perdón, no debe tener verbo to be. Aquí se lo está poniendo. Veamos a Maritza, dice, I like drinking coffee. Aquí sí. I like, aquí está el verbo like aquí y ahí el, eh, el drinking coffee Rosalie dice I try aquí está try ¿eh? cleaning the house very well ok en tu caso Susi cuando dice I'm finishing my homework este no sería gerund este sería present continuous y le voy a poner un ejemplo acá el present continuous es así por ejemplo he is playing Basketball. Ok. El otro es. Uh -huh. Si ustedes he plays basketball. Pero si ustedes dicen, I like, miren, playing basketball. Aquí sí sería un gerund, porque no es un verbo como tal, solo están mencionando la actividad. ¿ve? I like playing. Playing. En cambio aquí dice he's playing, mm, no es un en gerundio, es un verbo con ing. Sé que es un poquito raro, pero vamos a tener más ejercicios ahorita, se lo voy a poner. Mm -hmm. Yes, Noé, I prefer studying English. Yes, totally correct. Ok, I'm going to present you some other exercises so we can have more, uh, more ideas. Look at this. Como les digo, ¿verdad? Puede ser cualquiera de estas maneras o de esta manera que les voy a, que lo vamos a ver. Dice, gerunds as subjects. Ok, eh, Rosalie, could you help me with eh, reading this part? Gerunds are verbs. Gerunds are verbs that at like nom nouns, they are formed by adding. ENG to verbs. For example, swim, swimming. Thank you. So, verbs that act 
act like nouns, verbos que actúan como sustantivos. Okay, swim, verbo, swimming, is la natación o el nado. Thank you. Okay, uh, Noé, can you help me with uh, number two? Gerons can come either. Gerons yeah, can come either after the main verb in a sentence, when they are used as subject, mm -hmm. or before the main verb, when they are used as subjects. Mm -hmm. Después de, 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 de un verbo, son objetos, son objects. Antes son sujetos, subjects. Okay. And let's work with this. Okay. Look at this. Acá, in this case, vamos a trabajar en esto. Look. Aquí tenemos eh, subjects, tenemos, todos van a trabajar como sujetos, eh, bueno, la mayoría. Y aquí tenemos estos verbos, okay. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Básicamente, lo que vamos a hacer es pasarlos con ing. Por ejemplo, aquí tenemos eating. Aquí está it. It, eating. ¿Ok? Los ponemos acá. Para que tengan eh, sentido. O sea, van a funcionar como sujetos. ¿Cómo van a funcionar? Así. Miren, subject. Reading is relaxing. La lectura es relajante. Aquí no dice leyendo o no dice me gusta leer o no, no, no dice yo leo. No. Reading is relaxing. La lectura es relajante. Así que tenemos acá. Eating lots of vegetables is important for good health. El, digamos, el comer muchos vegetales es importante para la buena salud, pero no estamos diciendo me gusta comer, voy a comer, estoy comiendo. No, simplemente, ¿verdad? Comer, ¿ok? Um, here we have some other, recuerden, va a tener ING, todos esos, ¿ok? Can we have a screenshot? Maybe, Maritza, can you help me with the screenshot? ¿Puedes ayudarme con la captura? If you please. Okay, we're going to wait just uh, 10 minutes. Solo vamos a trabajar 8 minutos, 9 minutos en esto. Menos, quizás. Este, y eh, regresamos, ok. Trabajen en equipo y pues recuerden, ING, lo van tachando. Y luego seguimos.
Teacher, fíjese que me sacó el internet y estaba en la sala 4 y ya no pude regresar. Okay, my friends, uh, let's finish this activity. After this activity, we say goodbye. So remember, um, maybe you have to do two or three of these sentences. Maybe we can start with Noé. And then we go with Alejandra. Okay, Noé. Okay, number two, finding a person's yes. face is difficult in the mornings. Good. Yes, uh -huh. I can see this. It, it applies here in Salvador right yeah <laughs> yeah well every time not just in the morning yeah, yeah. Every, thank you and very nice here we go with alejandra i don't know if you're ready if alejandra is not ready let's go with uh, maritza and then daniel okay maritza number 14 talking is not i always during the exam, mm -hmm. yes, allowed. Bien raro ese verbo. Allowed sería, yes, I'm sorry. Uh, yes, that's it. I'm sorry. Talking. I don't know, cuando, cuando estoy explicando, le pongo otras palabras. Yeah, talking is not allowed. Thank you. Okay, allowed. we go with Daniel and Rosalie, please. Number 15. Mm -hmm. Flying, flying makes me nervous. I prefer traveling by train. Yeah, by train. Yeah, of course. Good done. Okay, uh, we go with Rosalie and then Susie. And number three mm -hmm. is cycling. The word is a great way to get some exercise. Yeah, cycling is so important. Thank you. Okay, uh, Susie. Number eight. Okay. Smoking cigarettes is very bad for your health. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Okay, we go now with Gustavo and then John. Number four. Let's go with number uh, four. Read, reading a uh, book and magazine can help you to learn in English. Yes, definitely it is. Thank you. You're doing really good. Lo van haciendo bastante bien. Okay, um, let's move again. Uh, okay. let's... John? Okay, let's see. Um, 12? Please. Um, okay, drive and driving is a serious crime. <laughs> okay, drinking and driving, right? Ah, okay, drink. Drinking, yeah, or could it be driving and drinking? Yeah, <laughs> no problem. Okay, yeah, nowadays it is like more difficult because of you can go to jail. I'm yeah, sorry, pay no. the Uber. <laughs> yes, yeah, you have to, to pay Uber, right? Yeah, you can save time and more money. Thank you. Okay, we go with Alejandra and Daniel. The number 10, mm -hmm. 
Es learning about other people and culture is fascinating. Mm -hmm. Good done. Okay, Daniel, please. The number seven. Sleeping is an activity that all animals do. <laughs> yeah. However, did you know that cats sleep for two years? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Imagine cats sleep for two or third of their lives. Wow. Come on. And who else? Maybe we can have some other. Rosalie? Number five. Mm -hmm. Cooking is fun. I love making dinner for my friends. Okay. Dinner. Dinner. Mm -hmm. Dinner. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Okay, we go with Noé and then John. Okay. Let me see, number nine. Watching TV is bad for my eyes. That's why my mother says. Yeah, thank you. Okay, let's listen to John and then Gustavo. Okay, let me see. Number... Number six, mm -hmm. swimming is way way to get fight, but I yeah. try to off the water. Mm -hmm. Good one. Okay, what about Gustavo? Are you there? We have a uh, number eleven and thirteen. Well, if we don't have Gustavo, maybe we can have Maritza with some other. Okay, uh, Gustavo, you are there. Number Say eleven. Yeah. Swing, swimming. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, uh, okay. singer. It, it, my sister, favorite hobby, she has a great voice. Yes, thank you. And what about 13? Can you help us with that? With 13? Okay, this morning. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay, if you notice, no mistakes, ningún error. Easy, right? Shopping. Okay. Um, so here we have this. I'm going to check the attendance list. So we can finish the class. Y ya no me quedó tiempo para preguntarle la otra speaking activity que teníamos, la de generation gaps. I'm going to ask you uh, tomorrow. So let's see. Um, please say hi, hello, good evening. Let's listen to, okay, here we have Daniel, hello. Present, good night. Good night, uh, Doris. Present. Evelyn, I don't know, Graciela, no, Guillermo, no, Sandra, John. Good night. Everyone, good night, teacher. I am here. I see you tomorrow. I did okay. feel the time today. Yeah, <laughs> it was kind of strange, right? <laughs> well, that that is a good. That that's something really positive. Uh, Maritza mm -hmm. and Noé. Good night. Good night, Present thank. teacher. Have a good night. Have a good night, my friend. Okay, and here we have also Gustavo. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Okay. Uh, Oscar, no. Rosalie? Present. Good night. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Lucy. Okay. Present. Good night. Yeah. See Maybe tomorrow. we can. Thank you. Uh, Rosalie, uh, could you wait after the class, please, for the session? Podrías, for la, for la session? Yeah, teacher. Okay. Thank you. See you. Solo nos quedan tres clases. Okay. Come on. Let's do it. Have a good night okay. and see Have you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. 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 Okay, uh, Rosalie, you know that this time is uh, very important if you have doubts, si tienes dudas. Eh, tú me dices si tienes dudas con respecto a algo, algún tema, maybe some vocabulary, 
uh, conversations um, depends on you I don't I don't have do um, all is clear for me and sometimes um, y como que encuentro dificultad, pero porque muchas veces cuando comienza la clase no estoy al 100 este, poniendo atención, porque okay. como ya vengo tarde, cocino, uh -huh. no estoy como no, bebé. No, entiendo, <risa> entiendo. Ok, eh, ¿cómo están tus, tus horarios laborales? you finish late or the traffic is, is complicated? Es... In the traffic, it because mom, eh, paso por mi bebé a la guardería. Ah, ok, sí, eso toma tiempo. Ajá, sí. entonces ya llego casi a las 7, cocino, eh, el seno, lo tengo que dormir a él. Sí, Rosalí, no, créeme mm -hmm. que, que este no sabía de, de, de esa situación, pero al ser así, este yo valoro bastante el esfuerzo. Cuando, bueno, solo nos quedan tres clases, ¿verdad? Pero normalmente yo le, le cuando son esas situaciones así, eh, yo les pido a los participantes que me escriban un mensaje privado aquí en, en Zoom, que me digan, teacher, ya regreso, o teacher, ¿verdad? Porque a veces te das cuenta que yo pregunto así al azar, eh, intento que estén activos, y en tu situación, eh, pues, eh, valoro, ¿verdad? Que, que el esfuerzo que haces por, por aprender inglés, por estar en el grupo, Así que, pues, para las próximas tú me puedes poner eso, porque si te das cuenta, yo a veces pregunto. Y lastimosamente en este grupo sí hemos tenido bastantes oyentes, entonces no están sí. aprendiendo, pero los que sí eh, hacen las speaking activities sí están aprendiendo. Yo considero que parte de tu fluidez eh, es muy buena, sí. pero está mejorando. Yo, yo he sentido una mejoría con, con, con tu inglés, ¿verdad? Thank entonces, you, sí, yo eh, considero I, que... I, I... I like is e language English English yeah. uh, for me, but uh, esas cosas son las que. Pero I know it is it, it is not easy. Se va. Imagínate. Imagine we are on um, beginners for angel English is really good. So I hope you can continue. Espero que sigas eh, con, eh, estudiando y no te van a costar los siguientes módulos pero siempre es necesario hacer ese sacrificio, eh, darle una revisada a las tareas, si hay eh, actividades que para la clase y todo eso, porque sí, sí. siento que eh, tú ya manejas bastante vocabulario, pero hay cositas por mejorar siempre, sí. ¿verdad? Así que yo he intentado darle vocabulario que sea útil, frases útiles, palabras sí. nuevas, y les speaking activities espero que, 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 que también le, les hayan ayudado bastante y gustado porque son, son temas diferentes pero ayudan a que platiquemos sí, sí. porque a veces uno solo está estático y, y escuchando y escuchando y a mí me gusta que, que, que de, den sus opiniones así que eh, Rosalía otra pregunta, ¿tú estuviste tú, tuviste otro curso antes? no es 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 pero has aprendido bastante uh -huh. porque normalmente hay otros que han tenido otros cursos tienen como avanzado pero si tú no, este, en los módulos anteriores hemos tenido buenos buenos maestros y quizás el, eso de, de tener como la perseverancia uh -huh. de aprender de, de realizar los ejercicios pero sí este como le digo me gusta me gusta mucho el, el inglés y quizás por eso le he puesto un poco más. Yo creo, yo creo que deberías de ponerte una meta de aquí, porque imagínate, son seis módulos por cada nivel. O sea, vas avanzando y todo eso, puedes obtener mejoras laborales. Rosalí, yo creo que, que, que eh, tienes mucha capacidad para eso, así que eh, pues enfócate en eso, ¿verdad? Ese es el punto. Thank you, Thank you teacher. ¿Verdad? Bueno. Sería eso entonces, cualquier cosa, ahí estamos, ¿verdad? Pendiente, tienes mi número, cualquier detalle, ¿verdad? Ahí estamos y pues nos veremos mañana. Ya casi terminamos el módulo, Rosalía. Yes, teacher, thank you, thank you for all. He eh, aprendido bastante. Me alegra, good me alegra night. mucho. Have a good night. Good night. Bye bye.